Hi everyone. Welcome to Mindful Crafts and More. I'm Katrina. If this is your first time checking out my channel, welcome. Take a look at this video or any of my other videos. And if you find yourself inspired, join my channel. Those of you who are returning, welcome back. I really appreciate you just hanging out with me for a bit. So, hi everyone. Today is beta number 22, and it is a really special day today. Today is Earth Day. And it's a day that we celebrate the earth and we reflect on how the earth gets back to us and we do things to preserve it and make sure that we're not being wasteful. So I really think that that's a wonderful idea because it does involve mindfulness and reflecting and whatnot and just making sure that we're not overusing or draining resources and things like that. Okay, so. I thought that perhaps I could do something that shows you just easy ways that maybe we can uh, preserve the earth and give back and make sure that we are reduced reusing or recycling. And so when I take a break, I'm going to take you along with me. So this video is going to be kind of broken up into segments and I hope that's okay with you guys. Um, but I just want to kind of show you some things that I um, have noticed and have utilized in the past. And maybe it might be something that will inspire you or maybe something that you're already doing. All right. So I'm just taking a quick break right now. I am at work. Um, and I thought since I had a break that I could go ahead and do this quick video as the intro and then later come back to you and film the segments that I want to do. I also have a craft that I want to do, but it all depends on how busy the day is and whether I'm going to be able to incorporate it in this video or whether I'm going to just have to add it to another video. So we'll see how it goes. All right. So that's all for right now. And I will see you in a bit when I add on the next segment to this video. All right, you guys take care and hold on for a moment. Okay guys, so I am getting ready to head home and I have maybe about an hour's drive. So many times I just want something refreshing and believe it or not, a cup of coffee is refreshing to me. So I am getting ready to head on into the local coffee shop and I thought I would bring you guys along with me. So this actually is in keeping with Earth Day. So let's come on inside and see how it relates. All right. So come along with me. Oh, thank you. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh -huh. Thank you. You too. A question for you. Okay, if I just do a quick video, I'm about to show your pocket rounds. Is it okay if I just film your pocket rounds to show people that you guys have them? I'm not going to show you guys, I just want to show the pocket rounds. Okay, thanks. <laughs> okay, guys, so I am in the local Starbucks. And all I want to do is just show you guys ways that you can celebrate Earth Day, but you can celebrate it all year round because they actually have coffee grounds for your garden. So let me just flip the camera and I'm going to show you the coffee grounds. All right. Hold on. All right. Isn't that awesome, guys? And look, it is totally full, totally full with coffee grounds that you can use to help nurture your garden plants and that's just a wonderful wonderful thing they actually have this all year round so you're welcome to check out your local starbucks and you might be able to get some things to help implement your garden all right that's all so isn't that awesome you can actually celebrate the earth and give back by using the coffee grounds from your local coffee shop. Now, I know Starbucks does it, but there might be other coffee shops that do it as well. And you know what? All we have to do is ask. They're usually going to toss them anyway. And so if those can really help to get back to the soil so that you can then grow uh, wonderful things, 
that's a win-win, okay? So I'm getting ready to head home and get on the highway, but I will see you guys back when I am home and I will show you what else I have in store for Earth Day. All right, see you guys soon. I am back home. That took two hours. There was a lot of traffic, so it just took longer, which is why I generally stop to get a cup of coffee on the way. But in any case, I am now showered and refreshed, and I am ready to hang out with you guys for just a little bit longer. Now, we're talking about Earth Day, and I did have some items that I thought would go along with the theme, and I hope that this inspires you guys. It has to do with recycling. All right, so one way that we can help to reduce, reuse, or recycle is to consider making market bags. Market bags are really nice because they can accommodate small items or larger items depending on the bags that we have. We can purchase them um, as canvas bags or as vinyl bags, but we also can make them either with fabric that we turn into yarn or with yarn itself. Now, the yarn that you choose could be eco-friendly where we're using something that is organic like cotton, or you can choose to make something out of acrylic. While you're only just carrying groceries and whatnot with it, you don't have to worry about um, heat or anything like that. So yes, acrylic will work as well. So let me show you a couple of bags that I have made using um, a pattern that I found online. And then I'll show you a couple that I was inspired to make as a result of the first two, all right? So this is the first bag that I'm gonna show you here, all right? So it is a very nice um, bag that has a lot of stretch to it, all right? And it's got a nice swirl design from the beginning and it's made from bottom to top. And then you put the handles on last. The way the handles are made, they are very sturdy. So this can hold quite a bit and you're not really at risk for tearing it at all. So it's a wonderful, wonderfully designed bag. And I found it on Knit-O-Matic. That is the name of the site that I found it. And I do believe you can find the pattern on Ravelry also, okay? All right, so now I made this one and then I decided I have to make another. So the next one that I made, I wanted a really nice bright color um, because I think that the beautiful colors can encourage you to eat more healthy and to maybe go to the market to get fresh produce and things like that. So this was the second one um, that I made. All right, and once again, this one has the very nice um, swirl beginning and very nice sturdy handles. And it really does stretch quite a bit to accommodate quite a few things, all right? Now, after I made those two, I was actually inspired to come up with something of my own just in case uh, someone really liked these then maybe I could consider doing them either for a charity event or to um, just make them and maybe at some point consider selling them for myself. And so this is what I came up with. I started mine out because I wanted a little bit more sturdy bottom. Now this bottom is not necessarily as flexible as the other, but it is very much sturdy because of the way I did the stitching here. Um, the handles are very, very sturdy. And I did change up how I did my handles as well as how I did my increases and whatnot on the body of it. So it does look similar, but it is a different pattern from the other two that I just showed you guys. All right. Now, as I showed some of my bags to a few people, I got some suggestions and then I did get a commission for someone um, who asked me to make a bag from a photo that they had seen online. So I looked at the photo to get an idea of what they were wanting. 
And it actually was kind of a filet crochet style design. So I thought, okay, I think I can do something like that. They gave me dimensions and this is what I came up with. All right, so now with this one, it had a single handle that I put on it. And I actually really do like the single handle design. And then the body of it, as you see, is more like a filet. So we have some blocks that are completely filled in, some blocks that are open, and I gave it a nice rounded um, bottom design. All right, really nice. This can be used for so many different things. And the handle, the way it's made, made it very, very sturdy. So not at risk, even if you put something heavy in it, it's not at risk for ripping the bag itself. All right, I love the uh, coloring of the yarn. And I think it's a fun type of color and it just brings out, you know, thoughts of springtime and summertime. What do you guys think? All right, so all of these bags, I love them. I hope you guys love them too. They definitely can help us to reduce, reuse and recycle. And because of the colors, they make you want to pick them up and use them over and over again, right? All right, so now guys, that's all I have for my Earth Day recommendations and inspirations. Let's go ahead and look to see our update on the microgreens. So yes, not a whole lot going on yet, but that's okay. The early days, you don't see a whole lot of um, the seeds um, opening up or anything like that. But after a while, we will see. And that's why I want to bring it to you each day. Okay. So now let's take a look at our puzzle solution for yesterday. And here is what I came up with. And here is our puzzle for today. This has been so much fun. I really am enjoying it. And I see that you guys are enjoying it too. I wanna once again say thank you so much for watching my videos, leaving me a comment, giving me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. This beta is really exciting and definitely a challenge, but I am embracing it and enjoying the journey. That's all I have for you guys today. Do everything you can to be mindful to be at your best health. And by all means, guys, be crafty every day. I look forward to seeing you again on tomorrow. Bye-bye now.